I haven't got any sauce on my face. <laughs> uh, this vlog dedicating to a mate's mate, Keithy, and his lovely wife, uh, Leonie. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get a habit of forgetting mate's missus' name. Anyway, the yeah, she's uh, just had a nasty... Uh, Tumor taken out of her, out of her um, head there. Hopefully they got it all. Um, wishing you the best. Uh, yeah, I know how difficult it is to find uh, a good partner. That's for sure. Anyway, Mandarigma Baba ye, Ika Kayun Aram. Maranankana, Maranankana. Okay, uh, just gonna offload the trailer here before the branches get a bit too stiff. And plonk them on the weeds here and turn it into potash. Yeah. Oh, that stuff that can end up at the most of it at the tip or in the recycle bin and that. Yeah, it's got a nice. Uh, on a brighter note, yeah, it's got a um, nice uh, live tank there that I'll turn into some fish pond or something like that, or and some uh, aquaculture action. Yeah, that's the rental that we're gonna do up. Just do up, do up. Just gonna wait for the tenant to uh, rack off, get his stuff out and yeah, take the hot, take the um, whatever road. Yeah, so i uh, got to mow down a bit of that dried stuff. Um, just got to sharp, sharpen the blades again. Uh, that's that's a painting tree. It was um, dedicated to a mate's. Uh, made of my father and made of the family, Andy Spur. Yeah, he's a uh, top fella. Uh, the fellow firefighter of my father's for 35 years, something like that. And, yeah, Bertie. And uh, yeah, it's got a real nice um, aroma to it. Yeah, you know, it's like a um, perfume sort of quality, that one. But, uh, yeah, it's. Self sewn in a couple other spots. Leave it next door. But, um, yeah, just woke up. Uh, that that plant, that plant there, unfortunately, uh, not enough water to it, and that carked it. That was dedication to my mum's mum. And there's a it was a native plant too, so it goes to show you how. How much the climate has changed. I uh, I did put a lot of uh, goodies underneath it. Well, not rich goodies because yeah, the native plants can't handle too rich a soil, of course. I just put in catchments for rain, but yeah, it never happened. So I have to do that again. Yeah, Dad's. Dad's dedication in the field there. <laughs> Where I got that little <laughs> stuffed horse sitting there with a <laughs> a um, PPE. Yeah, that uh, the white white snails love that. I just put a olive tree there, but it was too dry. Ended up with a twig. Well, anyway. I'll load this up and then you know, I'll you know, pile it up like a TP and uh, and uh, all that's left is ash because uh, you don't put too big a um, uh, tree tree parts of it the the larger tree trunks so I part of the tree I stack up against the fence there you can sort of see a bit of it. Yeah. 
Uh, that's sort of that, those little piles there. Or, where is it? There's a finger. Oh, over there. Yeah, that little piles there are, are sitting on top of it. Yeah. Anyway. Next stage, Shazam. <laughs> Take care. In Gutball. Live long and prosper.